Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Life Learning. In this episode, I want to talk about this uh, new uh, face set boundaries note for geometry nodes. So last night I was watching this uh, Blender Today live uh, video and then I was looking at this. So apparently they're gonna be like a face set boundaries node in geometry nodes and this node will give you ability to make a selection face uh, actually selection edges based on the face set so it, it, it sounds kind of tricky but I will try to explain it from what I understand so I'm using blender 3.4 alpha and I will create a quickly create a torus okay that's probably like a bug because it's still 3.4 alpha anyway so let's save this very quickly so boundaries so from this totals I will go to sculpt mode and I will create some like a, I will draw a bunch of face set okay I'll set the radius really large so I can just paint randomly I actually really like the face set uh, and it's just a quick ability to draw and paint random color just by clicking over the surface so if we, if we get out of that we lost the face set the face set data seems to be available inside sculpt mode okay so let's give this a color material um, what I will do to make this very really clear Give a different color maybe this one pink okay um, I'll go to I hit tab go to edit mode face mode and I will assign blue or actually uh, whatever color and so we have this blue color and we have pink and I want to paint the pink color using sculpt mode but inside the face set so it's kind of a uh, tricky to explain but with the face set okay we define some region and we can use edge to tap whatever we hover we can kind of separating that area so what I'll do I'll, I'll hit tab uh, I'll hit edge separating this face area select all I will assign it with pink color so okay oh uh, shift H actually option H reveal everything go back to sculpt mode I'll select this face assign it with pink wow okay tricky option H refill all and okay so anyway I'm trying to basically in sculpt mode I will select this face set paint it with pink and option H refill all so I'm defining some areas for boundaries, okay? And then we can use this inside geometry nodes because uh, this is probably the easiest way to explain that little node face set boundaries. And okay, the next thing I will do is to use ed edge split edges, okay? I didn't use the UV as not like this in, in this example it's actually it's doing like a like a boolean cut uh, and delete geometry just it's cutting areas based on the boundaries face set boundaries and and then using it for UV but in my case I will use the face set boundaries to split edges I think that's the idea anyway so material select material selections okay that's what I want and then we we say okay based on the pink selected 
based on the face that's given pink material use that as face set create boundary edges split these geometry edges so if we assign smooth you can see the pink area is now separated and we do this procedurally so it's, pr it's pretty cool it's pretty cool little node uh, I think uh, so the sculpt mode still back to the sculpt mode and you, you remember we can just tap H and I'll do the same thing H assign it with pink Does it work? Yeah, maybe it does work. I'll do this. I'll do it again with this area. Assign it with pink. Yeah. So we're creating like boundaries areas that's being split on the fly using geometry nodes. So that's that's one way uh, to do this. So let's. Uh, make another example this time I will, I will call this one um, split by material I wish there's a way to split based on the face set maybe in the future for now I'll make another one split by weight okay this one's gonna be interesting it's gonna be different get rid of color so we have another torus and I will create a an armature and from this armature I will go to edit mode and just extrude it so I'm extruding using E. So I'm defining kind of like uh, areas. Now I'm selecting these torus and then just assign this armature weight. Command P using automatic uh, automatic weight or envelope weight. Just use automatic. So if we go to the pose mode, you can see the bone is controlling the torus. Right, so it's, it's, there is some areas defined by this. Okay, now get back to our split by. We put the armature on top, so we we get a weight from the bones. Now we want to split by weight, but using the face set boundaries instead of using material, we want to use the the bones. Uh, so with the bones, we use the name attributes. So look at this okay maybe using math and comparison we can define a cut so I kind of wondering if greater than less than or greater than I'm trying to find a, the right value here. Maybe less than. Oh, anyway, I need to make a smooth greater than. Okay, you see? This bone is now separating that area. That's, that's what I want to show you. Anyhow, it's a uh, it's hard to explain, but this hopefully can help you uh, to understand the what this face set boundaries is for. It's it sounds simple face set boundary, so it's actually selecting edges that we can use to split, or we can use it with the UV unwrap, because with UV unwrap, unwrap of course we need to have seam, right? The seam is getting is getting it similar to split edges 
it gets the sim based on selections okay and then we can use it to generate uv so that's i think that's the idea anyway so if we uh, uh, maybe i will deal with the uv later because the uv using geometry nodes is kind of um slightly tricky to understand someone out there maybe will make make another video to explain what's going on so but anyhow we're gonna deal with uv later so this split edges face at boundaries blah 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 this one we can reuse it we can group it and reuse the same thing with the different bones okay see i'm using bone number two I can use number bone number four or even number seven like yeah just repeat the process okay this guy okay in order to make it nicer and tidier really I should have uh, just grouped this Control G, so I'm grouping that split edges. Mm. I think I will spend a bit of more time with with the setup anyway uh, so yeah basically all I want is to really get get all the face set from all these bones and then separating this guy we might need to have like a loop nodes so yeah like get all the name attributes from the bones and then compare it with this greater than and then generate that value that we can use inside face set boundaries yeah slightly tricky um, however now we know how to separate uh, areas simply by using face set boundaries and we do this procedurally so that's that's the main point here so um, ideally really like uh, with a scalp mode I want to be able to separate based on this separate all the plates based on the drawing of the face set I, I think I've, I've mentioned this many times to to Pablo or to Antonio I think one of the blender developer so if we can just separate based on the face set we actually we do able to do that okay let me show you if this is monkey head just gonna remesh very quickly and sculpt mode okay this face set is totally it's really powerful just create a area boundary topology so you are able to do this using in a sculpt mode face set Uh, extract face set okay this can be assigned into a shortcut maybe face set extract face set as uh, oh I already have inside quick favorite so I just need to type Q and then extract extract face set now we have this part separated. So go to sculpt mode once again. Q extra face set tab. So we do have this thing. Um, the function is there, but it's like a once-off thing. The same thing with this guy, but we we are doing it uh, procedurally. So this could be really powerful, I think. So it's really just 
imagine like a cloth and then you want to cut seam and you want to do it procedurally or using face sets this is basically what it is so again geometry nodes face set face set boundaries keep eyes on this node we're gonna have something cool uh, from this node in the future in the near future because we are using blender 3.4 alpha so maybe the function will be easier in the future yeah i just want to show you that so thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you bye